This is second part of the video. Here, let us discuss the types of validation and elements of validation. There are three types of validation. The first one is perspective validation. The second one is concurrent validation. And the third one is retrospective validation. Perspective validation applies to new processes and new equipment where studies are conducted and evaluated and the overall process slash equipment system is confirmed as validated before the commencement of routine production which means validation is done prior to routine production concurrent validation applies to existing processes and equipment it consists of studies conducted during normal routine production concurrent validation can only be considered acceptable for processes which have a manufacturing and test history indicating consistent quality production. Retrospective validation applies to existing processes and equipment, and it is based solely on historical information. Unless sufficiently detailed past processing and control records are available, retrospective validation studies are unlikely to be either possible or acceptable. With retrospective validation, the generated data already exist. Retrospective validation demonstrates that the existing process is under control. Indicates that the process must be validated once again. Revalidation may mean that the original validation program should be repeated once again at a predetermined frequency. Revalidation is associated with all three perspective, concurrent and retrospective types of validation. All validations have three elements in them. They are IQ, OQ, and PQ. In retrospective validation, we do not have to do these. But we use the existing data of IQ, OQ, and PQ to demonstrate that process is validated. Installation qualification is demonstrating and certifying that a piece of equipment is properly installed and is provided with all necessary services, subsidiary equipment and instruments and is capable of performing in accordance with its basic design parameters. Operational qualification consists of demonstrating that the equipment will perform consistently and within predefined limits as specified and installed. PQ is performed after successful completion of the installation qualification, IQ, and operational qualifications, OQ. The testing carried out to verify that the performance specified in the URS is being delivered